When you look at sort of what's on your platform, can you tell us one of your top issues and kind of what you're expecting to, to see for debate this year? Sure. So um, we have we have a, a pretty robust list um, that was just released last uh, just yesterday, actually. And so it's things like um, child care, housing, uh, Future Ready Iowa. But one of the things that um, you know, representing businesses up here, one of the things that I think is really important to talk so, talk about would be the potential to do something substantive on on tax policy. Um, and and some of my other colleagues might might disagree with me up here. My friends at the partnership. Um, but I think, I think one of the things that's really important um, is to look at our tax policy, particularly from a corporate side. We're currently at a 12% corporate tax rate. Um, that's the highest in the nation. Some of our friends in the audience might point out that we did have a tax reform package two years ago that will lower the rate to about 9.8%. So we go from 50th to 47th in two years. And so as we think about trying to expand businesses in this state, trying to bring new businesses into this state and bring together uh, people that are in high tax states to to the state of Iowa to help with our population issues um, That's one piece of substantive policy that I think uh, we're expecting to have a conversation on and uh, you'll see us being uh, very active in that space Nice start Joe <laughs> We announced our priorities last Thursday the angel investor tax credit is one of those priorities along the the lines of tax policy that we would like to see a, a slight increase to it was a bill that didn't make it quite to the finish line last year and we'll be doing that again but along the lines of, of tax policy we uh, would agree that we would like to see a, a decrease in that corporate in those corporate rates but we have been a big advocate of I will and will continue to be even at a stronger level this year we'd like to see that sales tax increase to help fund our that natural resources and outdoor recreation trust funds we'll see what that full tax package looks like this year and we'll certainly be doing what we can to be at the table. ABI goes through a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, ABI goes through a uh, uh, policy development process that brings in uh, many of our 1,500 members on various uh, issue committees, and uh, uh, we put the policies together through those, those means. Uh, what we are hearing from uh, our employers is something that we've been hearing for uh, a couple of years now, and it's please help us on workforce, anything, anything on workforce. And so as we've seen Future Ready Iowa uh, pass and be implemented, we're, we're right there to make sure it continues. Uh, it, it, it is effective, but I think we see things getting more granular now than just prepare the workforce. Now it's where does the workforce live? Uh, where does the workforce put their children while they're at work? Uh, so as we kind of talk to our members that are throughout the state, we see little pockets of, you know, varying intensity of those issues, uh, but they're the same, and uh, I really think this is going to be one of the years where you see legislators coming together, getting to the table and saying, okay, this is my experience, we've got to fix this. You'll see the organizations like us filling in behind and saying, you know, here's what we can do to help you understand the employer's perspective. But I expect to be very, very busy uh, this coming session on how do we get workers into jobs? Uh, uh, that's just the number one overriding issue. From any committee that we would convene on any topic, it would always get back to work for us. Uh, speaking with uh, tax policy or staying kind of on that uh, line, one of the biggest things that the city uh, focuses on and has since 2013 is the backfill appropriation that resulted from the commercial and industrial uh, property tax bill. Um, it's an appropriation that local municipalities use to maintain um, services uh, that might have been offset from the reduction in the commercial and industrial property tax values. Uh, I'll piggyback on what JD said, and if his goal is workforce, I think our bigger, our bigger goal wrapped around that is people. Uh, we've actually overhauled uh, our priorities, which will come out next week, and our number one overarching issue is talent. How do you get more people to the state? And that not being one thing, uh, such as birth rate, it's how do you reintegrate people? How do you reintegrate uh, people that have been staying at home? How do you get people that, as an attractive place that people want to move to, uh, both from uh, new Iowans to uh, old Iowans that want to come back? But that's what we hear time and time again is, you know, we're very supportive and work very hard on Future Ready Iowa, 
we're just worried that you could create the best training program in the world, but if you don't have the people to, to do that, it, it's really worrisome. And what we find in the, amongst our members is poaching is, you know, uh, really what ends up happening is taking the best employees from other employers rather than uh, getting new employees in in, in open jobs. So for us, it's, it's a lofty, uh, uh, fatuous goal. Um, but uh, ultimately, that's it. We, our population has been stagnant since 1875. Uh, we had 12 congressional uh, members in 1875. We now have four. Uh, and if we don't do something to attract more people, uh, those folks won't be there to take those jobs.